What is going on guys, it's your boy Death Gun with another Monster Hunter World video. Today we're going to be talking about something really interesting. I'm going to share with you guys 5 elements or blights we want to see in Monster Hunter World. With that being said, I want to let you guys know these apply to both monsters and their weapons. So we'll be able to inflict the status as well as receive it. Not only that, but some of these are returning, so we've seen them in past Monster Hunter games. With that being said, let's get right on to the first one. The first element we're going to be talking about is wind. And it's been done before, guys. It's been done in the Monster Hunter manga. So if you didn't know there was a manga, I'm going to link it down below. Go ahead and check it out. It's actually really cool. I just started it myself. With that being said, there are monsters with wind effect around them. Valhasak is one of them, and it makes his effluvia float really nicely around them. A more noticeable monster is Kushala. As you can see right here, he has a really prominent wind aura around him. Imagine if we had wind weapons, it could really work in the game. They could be strong against water and fire, and they could be weak against thunder and dragon, or something like that, you know? But it's very possible, and the fact that it's been done in the manga makes it something that could really fit into the game. Maybe not now, maybe in the next installment of Monster Hunter World, or maybe even in the next update. Nonetheless, I think it would be a really cool element. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments section below. And now let's get right on to the next one. Alright, the second one we're going to be talking about is either a status or a blight. And while it's been done before, it hasn't been done completely. The one I'm talking about is Confusion. The monster that would actually infest you with Confusion is called Malfestio. Hey, you get the pun there? Now, while it was done before, it wasn't done completely. What I mean by that is that before, the only one that would get confused would be the hunter. And what would happen is that your movement would actually get reversed, making it harder for you to actually, you know, control your character. With that being said, I think that if we were to get, you know, weapons that cause confusion, it would disorient the monster and it would, you know, change its battle face to a more where the hell am I, what the hell am I doing, and if there's other monsters, it could even attack it. We have a small sample of something regarding confusion. As you can see right here, after a couple drinks, your character will get wobbly and you can't really control what it's doing until it eventually falls down. This is a very slim comparison to what confusion could do. Overall, I think it's really amazing and it's a fun element to add to your weapons and a very annoying element to have to deal with. Alright, up next we're going to be talking about another status or blight, and that is Soiled. And while it was done before by a monster called Kongalala, otherwise known as the Poo Monkey, I think it could be done a lot better. It doesn't necessarily have to be done the same way, but it's an interesting effect. Before, Kongalala would fling poo at you and you would become soiled and it would make monsters run away from you. I think this could be something really interesting in this bigger world, making you chase them down. Currently, you only have to chase them down once they're limping or they're flying away. But other than that, they're either chasing you or you have to wait until, you know, they either go away. But having them go away is actually really interesting because you will have to chase them down. Now, if you want to purposely make them go away, you can fling poo at them yourself, you know, just squat over and, you know, wobble a little ball of poo at them. But now, having them run away from you without you wanting to run away from you is something really interesting and while annoying, it could add new mechanics onto the game. Alright, the next one we're going to be talking about could either be an element, a blight, or a status. Nonetheless, it would be amazing, and that is crystallization. While this has been done before, and there are monsters that could actually cause this effect, there is no reason for this element to not be in Monster Hunter World. We have a whole biome made out of crystals, so there is no reason, like I told you guys, for this not to be seen in this game. Now, what crystallization does when it comes to weapons, it will just cause a lot of damage, it could be strong against particular elements, pretty much like the dragon element, something of its own, but very, very strong. Now, when it comes to monster interactions, if a monster hits you with crystallization, you will become immobile and you will have to shake your hunter in order to break free from the crystallization effect. Now, the longer you stay crystallized, the more stamina you will lose over time, so it's very important for you to break free of this effect. On top of that, if you stay crystallized, a monster can set you up for a devastating hit. Overall making it a really interesting element, pretty much like a dragon element. It will look really cool on weapons, on monsters, and overall make it for a whole new way to fight.
All right, the last thing we're going to be talking about is the Earth element. This has also been done before in Monster Hunter Explorer, which is a cell phone game. With that being said, I think this element would fit perfectly into this game. We have monsters that already fit this pretty much category perfectly, which is the Baroth, Diablos, and so much more. With that being said, this element could be strong against wind, fire, ice, and it could be weak to dragon and water, or whatever, but overall it would be an amazing element to have in the game. And like I told you guys, this element has also been featured before, and on top of that there is a monster that is classified as an Earth Elder Dragon. With all this information, I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I don't mean to say that we need to have these specific elements, blights, or status in the game, but things along these lines. Overall, these ideas are just my personal opinion and my way to actually share more information with you guys to give you guys awesome and interesting content. So if you like it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Monster Hunter World content. And now I have a question. What's an element, a blight, or a status you guys want to see in the game? Let me know in the comment section below. No matter how rare it is, I want to hear your opinion. So, that's about it, and I'll see you guys next time. For now, your boy Death Gun, out.